Welcome to the audio recording of Interpreters and in Music Behind the Scenes Stories, Part 4 Interpreters and Voices, read by Interpreters. Gavin, solo version. Ever since we began the video project on Interpreters and Music, we've felt a lot of energy from the interpreters who've been kind enough to join us on our initiative to explore the relationship between AI and interpreters, including such questions as, what will the future hold for the two of them? Will interpreters become a conduit for AI? And what will the future look like for these two? This all ultimately led us to compare AI and interpreters. We are on a journey to highlight professional interpreters' strengths over AI, and human voices are one of the areas we'd like to compare. We've invited quite a few interpreters to participate in the Interpreters and Voices project. Before they have even seen or listened to the project, many interpreters describe the project as interesting, great fun, wonderful, something new and exciting, fascinating, and fun. Many of you agree with us that AI recordings are usually boring, if not unsettling. The natural inflections of speech are missing, and their robotic, monotonous tone drives us crazy. Even so, the threat of AI recording looms large as a dark cloud on the horizon. We don't enjoy AI recordings at all, and really wouldn't want to see the world develop in a way where they are primarily used over human voices. It would undoubtedly be a tremendous loss to humanity. It's something that we truly hope will not occur, taking away the joy and emotion that can only be experienced through the vehicle of human voices. By the way, if you know of any interesting AI recording examples, please do feel free to share them with us. It would be very interesting to have for our own learning purposes. AI is a wonderful tool of convenience and efficiency in modern times, but there are certain things that AI just simply cannot replicate. Even though AI may replicate the breathing, the stops, and quivering of human voices, these elements always sound timed and programmed. If spoken or read by a human, the words convey different emotions and can be paced at different speeds depending on how the interpreter is feeling and reacting to an audience in that moment. For this project on human voices, the only instruction we gave the interpreters was to give the recording their best shot and then leave the rest for us, the audience, to listen and enjoy. We enjoy listening to these so much, and I've even listened to them more than a handful of times. The more we listen to them, the more we feel the pleasure and ambiance as if we were brought to another world. We are totally immersed. The recordings read by different interpreters sound different to the ear, not only because of accent, gender, tone, and the pitch in their voices, but also the background each interpreter has come from. The interpreters are long-time devotees of language and communication, but are also people with interests in poetry, storytelling, and cultural performances. The interpreters have submitted their recordings with their own unique interpretations to reflect how they perceive the text. One interpreter might make a certain sentence or phrase sound more important, whereas another interpreter might read it in a lighter sense. We all parse messages differently, despite general similarities. Just like when different people read the same poem, each person's rendition of the poem will sound different when their words reach the audience. Aside from human emotions, Distinctness among the speakers is something else that AI cannot replicate. Just like the spontaneousness of jazz, as mentioned in our previous blog post on human individuality, in the recordings we hear richness of styles, all of which communicates the individuality of the reader and the storyteller. These styles can range from being personal, emotional, poetic, explanatory, upbeat, engaging, but not overemphasizing, measured, modulative, and sporadic in regards to pacing, 
We're also delighted to hear little off-script moments, like singing instead of only reading. Yeah, a little surprise is the spice that keeps the audience interested and entertained, and it's that exact element that keeps blowing us away. Interpreters use their voices to produce work every day. Therefore, it's wonderful to aggregate their voices in a collage. We have rotated different voices, even deliberately paired up different voices, male and female, low and high, fast and slow, to show contrast between people. After all, what better way to show individuality between humans than to show the different takes on the recordings? AI is limited in the sense that it lacks the kind of creativity and artistic expression that comes to humans so naturally. What they're best at doing is replicating, while what humans are best at is creating and putting our own spin on things. Having different interpreters read the same blog and then combining them all into one recording is a great way to showcase how individualistic we sound as humans even when we're doing the same activity. The participating interpreters took time out of their busy schedules to do the work pro bono. A common goal is to demonstrate that professional interpreters do so much better in recording than AI does. Hearing the interpreter's recordings really helps drive home the difference between human individuality and the monotonous nature of AI. We really think this project is special because it helps to show something that we think everyone, not just people in our industry, needs to see. Please feel welcome to share this with everyone. And last but not least, a final big shout out to the participating interpreters. Thank you so much for the wonderful and abundant voices. They are truly music to our ears. Working together, we have demonstrated the power and strength of professional interpreters in our voices over AI, and the journey must go on. Originally, we were thinking about comparing AI narration to humans by putting them one after the other, but we realized that the contrast is not as significant as we initially believed. This is because humans are typically only able to endure AI narration for no more than a few paragraphs. After that, humans recognize the mechanical, robotic patterns that are inherent to AI narration, and after realizing that, humans make the decision to stop listening. So, please feel welcome to let us know how much of the AI recording you listened to before you decided to give up. We think it will be a very interesting fact to explore. <laughs>